Hi, I'm Paqueta12 and today we play with uh, Datamosh and we'll fake it. We build a texture to display sweet inside a feedback loop hoping for some interesting results. We'll uh, recreate this uh, network, uh, it's quite small and uh, yeah, let's uh, start. We close this and um, first we'll we'll start with a, a UV component since uh, I would like to uh, first displace the UV and then have uh, whatever image uh, remap with uh, the texture that I got. So let's use uh, a UV and uh, let's go for the default uh, resolution for now and uh, see uh, this place, okay. And here we go with red and green and uh, this place uh, weight is, uh, yeah. Let's go with uh, 0 0.001 for both. And uh, let's have a noise, okay. This has to be uh, RG to cover all the directions in a 2D plane. Okay, so like this, not monochrome. And let's have this parameter here, the resolution, and use it also for the noise. Okay. And uh, yeah, we good. Maybe rescale to 0 0.2. Okay. And uh, now what we have here it's uh, hard to see since the the displays value it's uh, so small okay but now we use a feedback and uh, let's have uh, also a keyboard in and use it for pulse and reset okay now we color this uh, black and have the displays uh, feedback in okay now you see some transformations okay let's have a photo okay we use a movie file in and uh, let's go with uh, something like this maybe and here we need uh, a fit so okay and again we take the resolution from uh, our UV and use it here and fit outside, okay? Now I use a, a remap and uh, yeah, let's have a null here and see what we got. Displays, um, so display background top, okay. Now, yeah, we we got something like this, okay? And uh, what if we go with uh, the image we got into the second input of our noise, okay? So that the, the vectors here, the directions for this place would be uh, taken uh, as, as in this image, uh, based on this image okay now we have uh, something like like this okay or instead if we uh, take this feedback into the second input of uh, the noise okay we have uh, those uh, um, overlapping uh, edges okay which might look uh, interesting I don't know maybe if we repeat this okay not not there here instead okay in this place while we are here we can use a blur okay and if you notice the image is not getting any blur just the the edges okay and uh, this is one of the reason uh, I choose uh, to to displace the UV first okay so yeah if w you play with uh, pre shrink then you can have uh, this uh, uh, yeah magnifying uh, um, something 
but right now we we don't use uh, a blur instead we would like the this texture we displace with to have uh, um, rectangular areas okay and uh, uh, then then the the displace would uh, would be uh, in in a, a, a much weird manner okay and uh, let's have a folder here okay and i'll show you um, a method uh, which i previously covered in a tutorial for my patrons a year ago and uh, i would like to share this with you it's a, a very nice method of of getting some some i would say weird texture okay now if you see that the input is the result of the feedback and so if we reset we we can see much better uh, what we we have so i'll go with a, a mat here in order to have the length let's let's mask the alpha and go with 32 mono and with this texture i would like to use couple of um, resolution tops to to scale down this uh, this uh, uh, texture to to uh, to form those um, rectangles okay now let's have one null here for uh, the the biggest uh, dimension in, in our case uh, 1224 and now we use a, a resolution okay and um, this is half now we half resolution okay and uh, yeah let's go a couple of times till we have two by two okay let's see oh we need okay let me check this one is one by one uh, okay and we good we don't see any any clear edge uh, um, edges but uh, if we take nearest pixels here now we we see we have uh, a lot of squares and uh, we would like to combine those using uh, composite Okay, now let's select all of them. Okay, and here in the composite, we'll go with uh, minimum and we take uh, nearest pixels. Okay, and now we have, uh, um, we have a, a, a lot of um, rectangles. Okay, and now we use this here and let's have again um, a resolution for our noise okay okay like this so we good now let's see what what we have now so yeah we we see some some corners some some uh, uh, rectangular areas and um, we are much much better now and uh, we can get the uh, more more uh, um, edgy if here in this place we take instead of interpolate pixels we take nearest pixels okay and uh, you see now the the result is uh, it's uh, quite different and i would like to take a different image i'll go with uh, laughing cavalier by franz hals and let's have a look now okay okay and what if i go inside here and uh, i'll have this um, noise uh, moving a little bit using abs time dot seconds divided by 20 let's say okay now let's go and and see what what we have now okay it's uh, much better and uh, yeah this was my tutorial 
I really hope you like this. Hit the like button, subscribe if, if you haven't already, or you can support me on Patreon and get access to a bunch of other tutorials. I have uh, some uh, brand new ones with um, UV and displays. Um, a big thanks to all my patrons, especially to Anti Allies, Ben Harrison, Brandon Tay, Breakwood, Brian Smith, Choi Seung Ho, Kono Kans, Daniel Clark, Darian Brito, Dimitri Diak, Erin Liu Win, Espen Kluge, Fraxinus, Jason Picciano, Leo Torres, Laurez Lab, Masayuki Azegami, Ophir Lieberman, Paul Trall, Plamu, Priam Givort, Robert Elderton, Sos Master, Sebastian Schneibel, Swill Bridger, C. Skillmi, Tim Node, Tyler Hallett, Vincent Naples. Guys, thank you so much.